Okay, yeah, I want to show you how you can draw the auxiliary elevation of a square prism whose front elevation and the plan are given. So this is the front elevation and this is the plan. So the construction goes as follows. We have to draw the auxiliary elevation on this plane x1, y1, which is inclined at an angle 60 degree to plane to line x, y. Now, what you need to do in this case is that you have to project point, uh, to project line from each point on the plan. From each point on the plan, you have to draw lines which will be drawn with 30 degree side of our set square. So this is my set square. So we are going to project line from each point as I'm going to show you here. So from this point, draw a line with 30 degree side of your set square. This is it. Then from this point, draw a straight line. So from this point, draw a straight line. From this point, draw a straight line, then take it up. So from here, draw a straight line. From this point, draw a straight line. So from this point, draw a straight line. And from this point, draw a straight line. I still need to extend these lines a little bit. So this is okay. So now, so I need to number this point. So this is zero and this is one. So this is point two and this is point three. All right. So from each of these points on the front elevation, so project line to the left side here and also from this point two here, project line to this side and also project line to this side so this has already been drawn so what you need to do here now is to draw a vertical line like this so on this line so this is zero this is one this is two and this is three so the next thing that you need to do is that on this plane x1, y1, since we are constructing the auxiliary elevation on plane x1, y1, so this is automatically the starting point, which is what? Which is zero. So now, for us to get point one, two, and three, so put your compass at zero on this line and extend it to one here. So put it at zero here and make an arc here. So this is one. Then from 0 to 2, from 0 to 2, so put it at 0 here, and you make an arc here. So this is point 2. And from 0 to 3, from 0 to 3, so you put it at this point, and you make an arc here. So this is 3. So from each of these points that we have here with the 60 degree side of your cell square, so draw lines that will be parallel to plane x1, y1. So this is it. Then from 2, so draw a line. Also from 3, draw a line. All right, so the next thing that you need to do is that, now, if you are looking at this object, we are, this object is being viewed in this direction. So if those, this object is being viewed in this direction, I will see this line zero, this line zero here, this line being joined with one. It will be joined with one. This point and this point will be joined together. So what I need to do is that this is on the plan this is line for zero. So we have this point 
and we have what we have this point these two points so i follow this point so i follow this point we have this point for zero and we also have this point for zero so i will follow this line from here so getting to plane x1 y1 i will put a dot here for zero then coming to this point so i go up like this on plane x1 y1 we have this point for zero so it is connected to point one it is connected to point one so where is point one here this is point one in the plan we have a point here we have a point here for point one okay so i'll follow this line going this direction so when i get to line one here i'll put a dot here then for this one i'll move it in, go in this direction so we have a point here okay so when i'm looking at this object in this direction if you visualize the solid part of the object as a square prism you will see a rectangular surface under here you see a rectangular surface under this part so this point will be joined together now with straight line and you will see that rectangular surface is it to look like this and then this will be joined together So this is the rectangular surface that you will see there. Alright, so the next is we have this point 1 being joined to 3. Point 1 is being joined to 3. So when you are looking at this object in the direction, you also see a rectangular surface. A rectangular surface. So this point 3, you also have another point 3 on this part. As we have point 1 here, we also have another point 1 here. So you see Point three if you visualize a, that solid object so you see point three another point three at this point and then you see another point one on this side that is how it's going to be then it's going to form a rectangle so then point three so if you follow this line so we have a point here for point three and we also have a point here for point three so if i follow this line like this i'm going up on this line so i have a point Point, this is point three on this line three here then you follow this line you go like this so we also have another point here here's another point three so point one will be joined together with a straight line so we see that rectangular surface you see it okay so this will be joined together with this and then so you make this a thick line you see that rectangle okay now so still looking at the object in this direction as i said still looking at the object in this direction so we have point zero being joined to two point zero being joined to two as you can see it here this line is joined to two i will see this line i will see this line joined together with this so where is point two where is point two so if I follow this line, this is line 2. So coming down like this, this is line 2, going like this. So if I move in this direction, if I go in this direction on this line, so here is point 2 here. Here is point 2. Here is point 2. So this will be joined together with a straight line. And then, so, and also... So this will be joined together. Be joined together like this. It's a straight line. Okay. So there is, you know, as, as I said that if you have a solid object, if you have a solid object and you are visualizing it, there is part that will be hidden. There is part that will be hidden from you. So there is a line at this three that goes down, that goes down to two, which cannot be feasible which you cannot see to be even from there is a line if you have a solid object a solid square prism there will be a line it is positioned in this form there will be a line at the other side which will be hidden from you that line goes down and there's another line that connects 
point two point that connect that point three down with point two here. You will not see it, and there will be another line that connect this point three to point zero, which cannot be seen. Okay, so how do we get that? So how do we get that point? So starting from this point, so we are connecting it to point two. So you follow this point. So follow this line from here. This is line two here. So follow this line. Or this is point two. So you follow this line that comes out from point two. And when you get to line two here, so we have this point. So just connect this point with this. You connect this point with this. And you connect this point with this with short dashes line. So those parts are hidden. So this is what I'm saying. Okay, so and also you connect this together, it is hidden from you. And this is also hidden. Okay, so this is it. So this is the auxiliary elevation of this square prism that is positioned in this form. So it's as simple as I've shown it here. Practice and subscribe to my YouTube channel if you have not subscribed. Share this video and other videos that I've produced with friends who are technical drawing or engineering students. Like the channel and I really appreciate you. Keep on practicing and I see you. I thought thank you and God bless you.